The Moto community didn't know it at the time, but the 2014 450 Supercross Championship would be Villapoto's last. This is the story of Ryan Villapoto's last 450 championship. Let's start at A1. It doesn't work this time! Unless he gets denied in the gate, and Noah Poto will get the whole shot! That's like clean, and he can just focus on the racing and the winning now. He's leading here tonight. Ryder in the middle, Ken Ross, and there's our race leader, the three-time and reigning champion. Ryan Wilhelm, 16th, and of course, Bell. Oh! Guess who's down? Noah Poto! Just like a year ago! Sand in the corner from the sand section. Ross it's is front end. What's Villapoto's mistake cost him the win, finishing fourth. Next is Phoenix. Certainly capable of running through the pack. Right there. Inside of Stewart. And we could have a change in position. Barsha back in front of Rocks, and the down goes Kenny. Villapoto goes around Barsha. To the tire the whole time, and it's... Here's Villo. Maybe after this triple right here. Or, there it goes. Look at this. Here he is, Villapoto! You're right, Ricky. Look how good Brayden is through the old oh, man! On this final lap. Uh -oh. Brayden coming inside! Oh, it's fight. Can he get to the inside? Give me it. And Villapoto claims his 30th energy AMA Supercross FIM Championship. Villapoto came through the field in Phoenix, winning his 35th 450 Supercross main. Next is A2. Two. Dungey with the whole shot out front. Stewart's there. Villapoto is there. Villapoto has cleared Nick Gray. Two really main event winners. Look at Roxon. I mean, he really, he really caught Anna up. Ryan. He's trying to make up for it tonight. Here's Roxon. Oh, and he just pushes Villapoto out of the way. Dungey down. Dungey crashes. Looking for oh, Villapoto to the inside. It's best on the 40th anniversary. Stewart clipped those tough blocks. Oh, here he is. Villapoto, the Lord. Contact him down. Go, Villapoto. Reed is past. Brayden comes alongside. Oh, Villapoto and Dungey are down the gap. Villapoto does it. Villapoto got tangled up twice at A2, and a new title contender emerged in Chad Reed. Next is Oakland. Kind of dirty loves. He's been driving the corners, driving it to the win. Villopoto dominated in Oakland, regaining the momentum. Inside, he's going to get the whole shot, and Villopoto's right with him. When's the last time you saw James Stewart get shot? Oh, Chad Reed, and this stadium's going nuts. He's trying to think of this points chase as well. I mean, he's so impressive right now. And what you have to do to win here, and that Reed is it's where it's really good. He's got him. Jack Reed's done it again. Ryan Villapoto's two championship rivals passed him and beat him heads up at A3. Next is San Diego. Short. Go. And Villapoto takes the lead. He's right there. Roxon's in the fight as well. Wow. Fourth after a bad game. Stewart. Villapoto going for the lead as well. He's in fifth. Oh. Stewart jumps into the early lead. Here tonight, the Supercross crew has done a great job. Get for hour and get to stay low, maybe. I think it'll allow you to stay low. Oh, oh Nick Wade right in front of him. Here it comes oh. Ryan. Down he goes, team. Yes. Villapoto and Stewart would have an epic 20-lap chess match, while Villapoto would lose a championship contender. Checkered flag, James Stewart. 25 behind Jeremy McGrath, who has the oh, line, makes a mistake. Villapoto would struggle in Dallas, Atlanta, and Indy as mistakes and a first turn crash would set him back. Dungey has his first win in 2014. He's got a third. Villapoto off with his bike, and Wilson gets a whole shot, but Villapoto comes. Falling back, falling back. Well, 
to see what happens. Turn here. Pushes oh, the front end. Oh, oh, down this final straightaway. Ryan Villapoto. Four-time oh. Daytona Supercross winner. The win in Daytona would get Villapoto back on track. Next was Detroit. Sealy's going to get the hard shot. Here tries to hold it. Oh, oh it comes Jeff. He got a great run for the whole time. There he is. Like San Diego, Villapoto would chase Stewart for 20 laps in Detroit. Toronto was very interesting. The morning of the race, Ryan Villapoto was taken to a hospital for severe stomach pain. Many thought he would miss this race, but he toughed it out like a true champ would. Next was St. Louis. Poto trying to get around Brayton, but unless he's got everyone. Poto to the inside. Stewart trying to go with him. Barsha plans an epic ball. How will that play out? Uh oh, that's not as quick. Look at Stewart carrying the momentum. He says, Stewart cuts inside. Takes a ball. Yet again, he had what it took to beat Villapoto on any given night. This would be Stewart's last Supercross win. It was on to Houston. Uh oh, Villapoto! Oh, Short is right there with him as well. Working his way around this way. Checker flag! Ryan Villapoto! Ryan Villapoto would win the last four Supercross races at Houston, Seattle, East Rutherford, and Las Vegas, showing his competitors he had the number one for a reason. Ryan Villapoto would wrap up the title in New Jersey with rookie Eli Tomac finishing second in this race. Ryan Villapoto would go out on top, winning his last Supercross race. In total, Villapoto won 41 450 Supercross races and four Supercross championships in a row. They call him the mini-goat for a reason. <laughs>